Comments from the Bank of England governor insinuate another rate hike is not inevitable. And from, an, from a fundamental perspective, this implies that the UK central bank may be nearing the end of its tightening cycle. Could this be a positive signal for the pound sterling going into the new week? Well, this is a question we shall be clarifying as we take a technical dissection of the GAP USD chart. Stay tuned in as I welcome you to another promising session. Since this is going to be a follow-up detail to my previous analysis, I would like to share with you some key moments that we had during the course of last week. And talking about last week, the week started with a consolidation phase which was identified during the early hours of the week. So we had a structure around the 1.196500 level and the 1.19400 area where a breakout of either of this level will definitely be triggering a trading opportunity. And a couple of hours later, we saw the breakout of the 1.196500 level to signal a bullish momentum for the week. Then we positioned ourselves above the 1.20 level in order to add more position if it so happens that price action breaks out of that structure. And this was exactly what happened. We had a breakout of structure triggering the second position there. We also had another position above the 1.20250. We saw our price broke out of that structure, having three positions running in this particular market. So the first phase of last week was more bullish as we saw price action continue to find higher highs. But as soon as price got into the 1.20600, uh, this was a, a day to the last trading day of the month, we begin to see some selling pressure around the 1.20600 level to give us a clue that we might be going, we might be seeing a retracement phase anytime soon. And what happened afterwards? Price action broke down that bullish trend line, triggering our sell stop order as we had position right below the 1.20600 level. Now look at what happened afterwards. We saw price action continue to move to the downside and as soon as it got into the 1.20250, this huge bearish bullish pressure identified here made us to get prepared for another wave of bullish momentum above the 1.20600 level. So it was quite a choppy situation during the last trading day of the month as we had some buys and sells at this point but the key moment didn't come until the first day of this month when we started seeing buy pressure resume around the 1.20250 level which made us position ourselves above the 1.20600 to take advantage of the second phase of that bullish momentum but that did not happen yet we saw selling pressure resume price action broke down that structure and I think it was not until let me see here when we started having okay we had the selling pressure resume and look at what we have okay it was not on the third of March that was on the last trading day of the month of the week rather <laughs> uh, we identify the channel here on the 15 minutes time frame between the 1.19850 and the 1.19730 level and we look out for a breakout of that structure and this was exactly what happened and price action it was at this point we had the second wave of bullish momentum which took price all the way into the 1.20500 level if you do want to have a quick examination of how we took advantage of our trading opportunities last week i will be dropping the link to this commentary in the comment section of this video and if you are watching this from my youtube channel you will be seeing it at the top right hand side of your screen so with that being said here let's dive into the current structure now we are on the daily time frame and we are going to be looking at things from an holistic point of view now looking at the structure we have here on the daily time frame it is quite obvious that since the last quarter of last year price action has been bullish in this market and to further emphasize the strength of the buyers here after connecting the series of higher lows this is what we have figured out here we have this bullish trend line which further emphasize the strength of the buyers 
But one interesting thing about this current structure was the fact that as soon as price got into the 1.24500 level, we begin to see some sudden pressure at this point. And one thing about this current structure, if we consider the bullish momentum that has been going on here in the last four to five months, you would realize that a retracement phase is likely overdue in this current market. And with the continued selling pressure resuming around the 1.24500 level, it appears that price action has transitioned into a reversal pattern in the form of a double top structure. And with a double top structure like this, you know what we look out for. The next thing we want to be doing is to identify a neckline of that structure that will be guiding our selling expectation. Now, with the neckline at the 1.1900 level, a very strong demand zone, which has been holding bullish momentum here in the last four months, we need price action to break down that neckline area to give us a beautiful confirmation that there is that this reversal pattern is long overdue. Now, with the situation of things here and considering what has been happening in this market in the last um, one month, it is very obvious here that the buyers are, appear to be very, very strong at around the 1.19 area. Now, talking about the 1.1900 level, you will see that the new year, that is 2023, started from this structure here, sharing a beautiful confluence with that bullish trend line. As you all can see here, this is when the bullish momentum started this year. And in fact, price action moved about 500 pips thereabouts into the 1.245 level before the sudden pressure resumed, breaking down that bullish trend line for the first time. Now, with the situation of things here, price appears to have come back into the structure where it started the year. And what we have been witnessing around this area in the last four to five weeks now, it is obvious that buyers are still very, very strong in this market. So considering a reversal pattern here would not be valid only unless price action breaks down the 1.1900 level, taking out all the buy positions around the structure and at, it's at this point that this will be a valid um, structure inciting a reversal pattern. But if this does not happen and price continues to trade above the 1.1900 level, we will have no choice than to look out for buying opportunity. Now, with this being said and the information we have gathered here on the daily time frame, I would like us to scale down to a much more lower time frame where I was able to identify a simple structure around this area which we shall be using to guide trading activity for this week. But before I go into the um, lower time frame, uh, there is something I would like to share with you on the economic calendar as the new week is laced with a series of macroeconomic events to look forward to. And definitely this is going to be bringing some liquidity into this market to further um, support whatever buyers we are looking forward to in the week. So the first, um, the first event is coming up on the 15th of, sorry, on the 7th of March. And that is the first German Powell is going to be testifying at the, um, what is it called now? It's going to be doing some testification on this day, sorry. And on Wednesday, we have the Fed Chairman's Powell speech, which is going to continue on that same day as well. And we also have the ADP employment change, which is coming in. We have a positive consensus of 168 as against the previous data of 106,000 which is something positive for the dollar here. Then on Friday, we have the almighty non-farm payroll, which is coming in. And from the look of things, with the, the data we are having here it doesn't look impressive for the dollar. So we are going to be looking forward to see what actual figure will be coming in on that day. Then we also have the Michigan consumer sentiment coming up on that same day. We, we don't have a consensus yet, but I hope that as the week goes by, uh, this will be published and we shall be using this to guide our expectations in that regard. So do we have anything on the pounds? I don't think we have anything on the pounds for this week. So we shall be focusing more on the US dollars fundamentals for this week. 
So with the information we have gathered here right now, let's scale down, scale back into the chart and zoom into the forward time frame where I told you I have some simple setup that I want us to be looking at against the um, new week. So on the four hours time frame, this is what I was able to identify here. And if we take um, a close look at what has been happening here since the beginning of the year. So after this bullish momentum that started here around the 1.2100 level, hold on a second, this is where the year started around this area. We saw the bullish momentum to the upside and since mid month of January price action appeared to be going bearish. And to further emphasize the strength of the sellers at this point, we have a descending channel to further emphasize how strong the sellers are in this particular market. But there is something I would like to share with you here, which happened, um, I think, since the beginning of the month of February. Now, if we look at the descending channel here, the last time price tested the support line of that descending channel was mid month of February here. And since then, price is yet to come back into that trend line. And this is a sign that the bearish momentum is gradually um, thinning out at this point. And to further emphasize the thinning out of the bearish momentum is the strong demand zone sitting at around the 1.19500 level. And look at what has been happening every single time price action comes into that level. You see all attempt by the sellers to break down the structure has been met with strong resistance from the buyers. The same thing happened here during the last trading day of last month and during the first couple of days of this month, we saw another bullish momentum resume from that area. And this has led to the breakout of the 1.200 level. And right now, price action is at a strong psychological level at the 1.20500 area. And if we take a look at this current structure here and go to as far back as the beginning of the month of February, you will see how that level has been a strong determinant of price action. Look at selling pressure around this area. The same thing also happened here. Selling pressure, we saw breakout here. We saw breakdown retest here. Then price action is back at that structure. So what this simply means is that we are at a critical point in this market as we need to um, decipher how price action will be reacting to the structure here to decide if we are going to be buying or selling the GBP USD for this week. Now, if this situation happens during the week, as we can, as we see price action breaking out of the 1.20500 level, this might be a beautiful opportunity to join a trend continuation to the down, to the upside which will definitely further emphasize the strength of the buyers in this market. And considering the fact that price is sitting on a strong demand zone, um, if for me, I'm going to be leaning towards this bullish momentum. However, if we start seeing selling pressure resume around the 1.20500 level at the beginning of the week, then we might likely be seeing selling pressure um, continue to the downside. So I want to see some reversal pattern around this area, breakdown retest on our lower time frame to give me a clue of a possible trend continuation to the downside. And if this momentum continues to the downside, we want to see how price action will be reacting to the 1.19100 level to decide if we are going to be adding more position to our sell position. That is, if a breakdown retest of that structure happens or we might be getting ready to join another wave of bullish momentum if buying pressure resumes above the 1.19100 level one more time. So these are my views here on the GAP USD, and I would like to pause the video at this point, but be rest assured that I will be jumping right in the comment section of this video during the early hours of the new week after monitoring our participants in this market will be reacting to this current structure at the beginning of the week. I hope this video has been of immense help in making your personal decision on the GAP USD. And if it did, kindly support this project by clicking the like button. You would also want to follow me on my trading view platform at Dark Sherry, spelled D-A-R-C-S-H-E-R-R-Y, so that you can be part of my daily commentaries as I normally share in the comment section of all of my videos. Thank you for watching this video. 
and i hope i look forward to seeing you right in the comment section on monday as we get prepared for the new week do have a wonderful evening everyone bye bye